Karens are known for their public freakouts, and boy, do they deliver. They can be seen going off on anyone, from store clerks to restaurant staff, and even complete strangers. From screaming at the top of their lungs to pointing their fingers aggressively, these Karens know just how to make an entrance. So the next time you encounter a Karen in public, think twice before you startle her. She might just have something up her sleeve. I don't want her prosecuted for stealing from me. Okay, so you didn't smack her? No! Okay. Do you have any injuries or redness on you at all? See, I just enough right here. She smacked me. Okay. Little prick, little prick, let me in. Never, never not your little bitty bitty. We start with a dumb Karen who appears out of nowhere and targets a woman strolling down the street with her boyfriend. But this isn't just any old, incredibly stupid Karen. She's a seasoned troublemaker with a reputation among the local cops. What's this dumb Karen's deal this time around? According to the victim, our infamous Karen claimed that she swiped her ring, sparking a showdown that quickly spirals out of control. Things get heated as Karen transforms into a whirlwind of agitation and aggression, and it looks like this. Talking about. What's going on? You, don't you see? Did she put her hands on you or what? She what's smacked on? me in my face and yes, I want to press charges. Okay. I was walking down the street with my boy. Yeah, just talk to her for a second. Talk okay. to her. How can you Ooh. talk to that? What's your first name, man? Oh, why'd she smack you in her fa in your face? Because she's accusing people. She's all f up in the mind. Yeah, well, I'm she, familiar with her. She. Thank you. She does two a days in jail. No, no, someone did, but it wasn't me. Okay, so she's saying someone stole your... Yes, I Someone did. stole her stuff. Yes. So did she approach she's you homeless. and accuse you? She just walked up to me when I was walking with my boyfriend, and she reached over and smacked me in my... Okay. I don't care. Okay. Give me a second. She stole me, and I want to touch All right. Can you go sit over here? I can't. I'm not allowed on the block. Come on. Come over here. You can go ask Alonzo. He put the ring on my finger. Okay. I let Amanda take it. There was another officer down there already this morning. Because it is. Okay. She stole my ring. She made me well, think Amanda did. How do you spell your last name? T E M P L E, like Temple. Okay. Do Temple. All right. First name? Melinda. What's your middle name? Sue. Alonzo. Do you have a phone? Phone number? I do now, but it's down there. I bought one yesterday. Okay. Do you know what your phone number is? No, I don't. Okay. Right, hold on. Oh, Alonzo's coming up, and that's my ring. She said her boyfriend fired for her first, but Alonzo put that ring on my finger yesterday. Two, five, and three. And they all seen it. Huh? Uh, twenty-seven, twenty-nine for Melinda Temple. When is this still for me too? Paul. Okay. I didn't hit nobody. Edward. First name is Melinda. Mary oh, Edward I, Lincoln, I Ida, she, Nora, David, Adam. My initials. She stole from Sam. me. Alonzo gave it to me. She's wearing it. She's wearing it. Okay, so she's wearing a ring. How, Go how, as how did she get the ring? Alonzo put it on my finger. Down at the fountain. Amanda, I let put on. She said she gave it back, but she gave it to her. She's been trying to blame so Amanda this whole time. And Alonzo, the person that gave me the ring, told me she has it. He's seen it on her finger. You can go ask everybody down there. They all saw it. We were at the fountain. Okay. So, so. I had you, multiple. You went to get the ring back, and then what happened? No, I didn't even know it was her. Okay. I thought it was Amanda. So, what and happened when you interacted with her? She's got my ring, and yeah, she came down Yeah, but what happened and, between you two? She got my ring. I want my ring back. What, what did you do? Nothing. I okay. said, I'm going to call you. I asked her to call you. I was on the phone with you. I said, I want the police come because I. No, I do worse than flat, okay? We all know this. Okay. And they came there this well, morning. She used to say that she was walking down the street. She her just walked up, first started asking for work, her ring. And now it's her brother's. That's my f***ing ring and you're giving it back. And you're going to jail for that. All you had to do was give it back, Rambo. Um, Tamara. All you had to do was give it back. Yeah, sorry if I didn't go over. Yeah, yeah. All right. Alright, Melinda. How am I going to jail for what? Stop. Stop. I'm here. not. Turn your back. Okay. Alright, disorderly conduct, fighting behavior, okay? I'm not even doing anything. Yeah. 
This is bull. Right. You're getting a neck. Right. Oh, stop twisting my stop. arm. Stop. Oh. Stop. Look what they're doing to me. <laughs> stop. Uh, you a big two. <laughs> Next, a broken arm. I need uh, to go to the hospital. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You just watched what he did to me. I can't feel my hand. I have multiple sclerosis, you bug. What did I do to you? I sat here quietly and did everything and you let that okay. go that okay. stole from me. Okay. The mayor's gonna get his shit. Now, I'm putting, hey, I'm putting, hey, you guys are really on trial. I'm taking these to trial. You too, Tamara. This is all your fault. You stupid I fucking hate you. She stole my ring. Right, As the You got any weapons on you? Oh, yeah. Where, oh, now you're asking me before you hand me. Men handle me. Stop touching me. I hate you. You're good. You yeah, I know. You're not that one. Ah, yeah, I'm pretty sure to give you three balls. You're good. Yeah. You just see. Will you put, right, stop touching him. me for a minute? Get in. I have multiple sports. I need to calm down. Stop okay. touching me. Okay, okay. Get, in. get in. Just stop touching me. We're, we're not touching you. Why did you touch me in the first place? I didn't do anything. Okay, take a seat. No, I need you to tell me. You're under arrest. For what? Okay. Disorderly conduct. What did I do? I need take a seat. No, right. I need to know. Hey, witnesses. I need you to explain this to me. Melinda, you're on right your... now in public. No, and you're acting I've, disorderly. I've, I've, because I'm hurt. Stop yelling. Take right. a seat. Hey, let's get in the car, okay? You shouldn't arrest me at all. Okay, take a seat. You pricks. No. Look, everybody videotape this. Take a seat. Get in the car. Uh -huh, you guys are going okay. to jail. You know. You guys are going to hell me. Jesus Christ. You guys are going to like this again. stupid. Linda, I hate Linda, you. Sit Don't up. touch hey, me. Sit, sit up. Then my friend, I can't. I can't. God. God. I can't. Hey, hey, hey. I can't. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. My All right. Hey. Stop. 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 One leg at a time and sit on the bench. Me. Don't touch okay. me. Stop touching me. Hey. I won't go hey. now. Don't touch me. Hey, Melinda. I got you. Relax. I'm okay. trying to. Breathe. Hey. Will you let go of me? Hey, breathe. All right? One leg at a time. We'll sit Just in the bench. Just let go okay? of me. Okay? You guys did this. All right. I did nothing All right. wrong. Get in the car. And you twist my arm. Hey. get in the car. Okay? Let me get some hey. air first. You're trying hey. to push me in the tone. Hey. hey, get in the I car. I got PTSD. Okay. okay. <laughs> What are they doing to me? Uh, uh, camera on. It is on. Man, I'm not doing anything. I'm asking okay. you to let me calm down. Hey, get in the car. I'm asking Sit you. Sit down. I'm sorry. That's all you got to do. I can't stop it. Okay. I got multiple sclerosis. Okay. I have multiple sclerosis. Please don't. That's all you have to do. You guys are hurting me. We're not hurting and you. And you and my mother obtained this court, and everybody's okay. witnessing what you did. It's a home video, and Spears going to jail, too. Why did you even believe her? Because I'm a drunk. She has a place to live. All right. All right. Six one in custody. I'm, to right. I'm so sick of this place, and all these drug addicts that hang out in front of it, dude. Yeah. Oh. I thought we were going to have to hobble her again. She started yeah. leaning back. I was like, damn it. She started, she was playing with herself. I'm like, I can get her to calm down, I think, so. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. Appreciate it, thanks. Hey, you don't need to uh, cut anything for this. Pretty good. Yeah. I'll I mean, cover it all. It's pretty cut and dry. Yeah. I'm going to charge none of these two officers. Officer Hilton and Officer... I didn't do nothing. This is unlawful. Judge, when you see this, because it's supposed to be in there for courts to see. Hey! Turn the green light on. Turn the green light on. It's not on. They're not recording. You are dumb as bitch. Shut the fuck up. I'm taking you to trial. You and him. Benefit and eels. Eels. Slime me like eels. Johnny Frasco. 
I did nothing wrong. I did, mm -hmm. I did nothing wrong. You won't even let me tell people to get my stuff. Because you're letting it get stolen again. You every time I get stolen, it's when you arrest me. Do you see that pattern? Fuck. Every time I go to jail, I lose my stuff. Oh my, I'm telling the judge anymore. I'm not pleading guilty. I did nothing wrong. And she stole my stuff, and you guys come out and let them. You a pig. <laughs> now I would. Charlie Manson knows about this. Ignorant f***ing pigs. They're about to lose their jobs so they get to hurt people. They have nothing. They're gonna see when I go to jail. You guys took me in there five times this month. I have no money. <laughs> I want a lawyer there now. I want a lawyer. I want an attorney. I'm gonna call Lisa Newman. I'm gonna get out. I promise. My grandma will put up her house. You pricks. You know my aunt, Chris Cooper? She has to cook that new clerk. You mother City clerk court. Ah. <laughs> and I did nothing wrong. And you better have your things right because there's recording over there. I'm pressing charges against you. Inhumanity. Inhumane. Inhumane! You f white bird. I'm a white homeless girl that loves black dudes! <laughs> That's your issue! Nobody likes a little prick! Sorry, mom. And you got a little one. All the day you do is say it. <laughs> My family owns this world. You're f***ing up. I think you were down on town earlier, down by the pavilion, getting your stuck by an ice mask head. Huh? Don't oh, get just pictures. God. Stupid prick. <laughs> little, little prick. Me in. Never, never, not your little ditty did. Hmm. Oh, I get to go to sleep. Thank you. Safe for the night. Thank you for doing your job, pig. <laughs> There's off streets too, and I know you know about it. I'll see you then. Like you see me every time. You come and arrest me every time. This is harassment. This is harassment. And every judge will see it. Pig. I wish death. You manhandled me on multiple sclerosis. I don't even fight when I don't have to, and you made me fight every time. Arrest me for no reason. Thank goodness my friends are around. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be out in 30 minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to read. Er, er, er. I have my own attorney, too. I'm not broke, okay? <laughs> Just mental because of you. I said I had PTSD, and you guys never hurt me. It's all on tape. <laughs> you guys might have put chips on. I didn't. <laughs> and I have tape pain. I'm only in the temple because this pig hurt me. I'm going to kick you in the face. <laughs> I'm going to tell you everything I do to you when I do it. What about your teeth? <laughs> your skin? <laughs> I'm going to watch you eat. Hmm. Girl, little boy. Hmm. <laughs> you around me. And my family. You f I don't know, piece of shit. Yeah. I know about you. Pig. Victor. The one trauma out there is your brother. That's your brother out there, that's a child. Victor! He arrested me for no reason. Victor, Victor, the child. He loves you too. I don't want this man touching me. I don't want him touching me. No! I want a female officer out here. If you open that door, that's against my rights. I want a female out here. I want a female officer out here. 
I want a female officer out here. No, Melinda. Yes, I can. That's my right. No, nope, I want a female out here. No, nope. that's against my right. No, it's not. I want a female officer. Step out, or I'm going to pull you out. Don't get a female officer. They will. I will let you step out. No, I want you to let me out here. I want a female officer out here. I want a female officer out here. No, Melinda. Yes, I can. That's my right. No, I want a female out here. No, that's against my right. No, it's not. Melinda, I want a female out. officer. Step out, or I'm going to pull you out. Go get a female officer. They will. I will let you step out. No, they, I want you to let me a female officer. If you touch me, I won't you're touch you. Me. Step out. I'm asking you to go get a female. How no. hard is that? Step out. They can go and you give can me deal a deal with a female no. after. No, you go get one for me. Melinda, you're going to catch another charge. For what? I want a female officer. Step out, and we can walk. Hey, don't touch me. I promise Walk you, out, touch me. Oh, don't touch me. Melinda, go. Don't touch me. Go. I am. Walk right. Tell me. No. Help her out. You better f*** her. I need you to touch me. They saw you do that too. Good. You're all good. They saw you spin my head against it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> he just spin my head against the wall. I asked you not to do it. Well, you're trying to I got a lot of stupid. Go ahead. I am. Stop touching me. Now we need to stop. It's right here. And he's gone to you. you open the f door or what? You bust my head against the wall. You motherfucker. Please don't let him touch me. Get off me. Oh, Please. Oh, Please. Oh, Please. Oh, Please. Oh, Please. Oh, Please. If MS means methy situation, then it's safe to say Karen's got it. Despite that, she ended up in the Scott County Jail for her impressive impersonation of a brawling tornado and was charged with disorderly conduct fighting behavior. Am I able to drive home? No, no honey, you are drunk as a skunk on Christmas Day. I can tell if she hit that truck or not. There's rust underneath uh, it, yeah. it's beat up. Okay, right. and there's damage on that side of her vehicle. And the whole reason I'm going is because my alcohol because you drove to work inebriated. Coming right up, we have the story of a dumb Karen nurse, 52 years old, who decided to clock in for her 12-hour shift at a La Porte County Hospital with a little too much liquid courage. Actually, it was a lot too much liquid courage, as you'll see shortly. But before even making it inside, she turned the parking lot into her personal bumper car arena, leaving a trail of dinged-up vehicles. But let's just say that Karen is lucky that she works at a hospital, and you'll soon see exactly why. So, I can't tell if she hit that truck or not. There's rust underneath uh, it, yeah. it's beat up. Okay. okay, and there's damage on that side of her vehicle. Okay. The witness uh, was a volunteer firefighter or firefighter off duty. Got this stuff. I know she for sure hit her car right there, and then possibly the road right there. So, I got all those plates, and then her truck is down there by the white Durango. What, um, what, like, what is going on? She drunk? I haven't talked to her yet, but I guess somebody motioned the, the thing, but she works here. She's in her Franciscan uniform. I mean, when, yeah, so I, again, I had to call the shakes before she got here. So right. I mean, you know, I don't know. But I've, I haven't talked to her at all. They wheeled her in in a wheelchair. I've just been trying to see if she's hit anything else. In okay. Her, so uh, that's as far as I've got so far. Sweet. Now, officers investigate the area to determine where Karen played bumper cars, and they find that one of Karen's victims is patiently waiting to spill the beans. Thank you. Did you, see, you didn't say anything? Uh, she 
just, just one guy. Yeah. <laughs> the only person that saw anything was a guy. This guy who called and followed her into here. And then, oh, uh, he followed her into here. Yeah, so they were at the light, and then he said she was driving weird, so he's like, okay. So they came into Franciscan Way, and she came around, made the left, hit the curb there. He said he doesn't know if she hit that truck, and then he watched her go all the way across the parking lot, hit this car, stop here, back up, pull around, uh, and then, like, keep, like, back in the, like this in the parking spot. I'm, okay. Yeah, so that's... Uh, what's, what car she? This uh, truck. The white truck? Yeah. Oh. And then on both sides of the front bumper is consistent. A witness spilled the beans to the cops, saying a 52-year-old dumb Karen was supposedly channeling her inner race car driver as they tailed her into the hospital parking lot. Once there, she made a grand entrance in a wheelchair into the hospital for some reason. Now, one officer is off on a mission to find Karen inside the hospital and see what all the fuss is about. Hello. Are you Candace? Yes. Okay. Is it okay if I speak with you? I'll, I'll wait till the nurse is done. No, no. Okay. Um, we we're just coming about coming to talk to you about what happened in the parking lot. Police officers discovered Karen lounging in a hospital bed, strategically positioned just beyond the body camera's gaze, probably to protect the camera's lens because she looks rough. Anyway, according to the cops. She checked in as a patient instead of clocking in for her 12-hour shift. It won't be long before she gets the opportunity to spill the beans on her unexpected role reversal. I'm trying to figure out what I happened. I didn't even realize that happened. So, okay. Yeah. What I happened? Was, I was dizzy. Okay. Um, that's why they got me. Okay. So. Were you coming here to be seen, or were you coming here for your shift, or? I was coming in here for my shift. Okay. And I didn't know. I. Yeah. Okay. I was like almost passing out. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. What's your last memory? Like, what are your what's your memory like? My memory was, my husband called me, and he said, "You seem odd." Okay. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. and I drove in and I thought I could come in, but then I got out of my truck and I was No. No. I I got dizzy. So was, when when your memory starts to get fuzzy, like when um, on the drive here before you left for work or what, what was that? I got fuzzy. Actually, I was kind of having a squint when I was coming in. Karen tells the officer she was feeling woozy before the whole fiasco, just as a doctor swoops in to check if her brain's pulling a fast one on her, testing for a potential stroke. You don't know what time, though. You know what time? Here's where we're at. You, you, you kind of got the busyness and all that stuff going on at events tonight. And part of our job is to make sure you're not having a stroke. Right. But to, treat that, but to treat that with the pot busting medicine, mm -hmm. if you consider that, it's very time sensitive. Mm -hmm. One, don't want to delay it, but at the same time, we have to know when you were normal last. I otherwise, would say, there's a, otherwise, there's a risk if we give it to you correctly. Oh, I get that. Uh, yeah. I, felt, I felt bad probably like an hour before I got here. Okay, an hour before you got here. What's what time is it now? She got she got here. Seven o'clock. Okay. And what time did you start feeling bad? On what, my six? Way yeah. What were you feeling that made you feel bad? I had to start squinting. Okay. 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 So I had to look like this. Okay. Do you mind if I call your husband? I'll talk to him. No. Okay, all right, because I want to, does he know you're indeed being seen right now? No, he doesn't. Okay, I'm going to give him he a call. He thought I was Okay, because I was told, he told you you weren't acting right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to call him, okay? No, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. Yep. Okay, so what should I do? I'm in trouble. Why would you be in trouble? We're just trying to figure out why the car was got hit also. Gosh, 
Even when I pulled into the parking lot, I didn't feel right. And that's why I, they, they caught me like almost laying down on my, mm -hmm. on my, I, I got out of the truck and I was just, I couldn't, I didn't even think I could walk into, in here. But it doesn't take long for the officer to uncover the real shenanigans happening here. I've been off work for six months because I broke and dislocated my shoulder. And I just came back last week. Okay. I worked three days last week. And then this was supposed to be my my next week. And Okay. Were you drinking at all? I drank this morning. This morning? Okay. Just to get myself to go back to sleep. Yeah. I got up like at 3 o'clock this morning. What were you drinking then? Hmm? What were you drinking then? Oh, it was like, just Trulies. Just Trulies? Yeah. I drank a couple of those so I could go back to sleep and mm. come to work tonight. Okay. It's not like a habit or anything. I mean, that was the last time you've done it. Mm -hmm. Karen admits to drinking the morning before her shift. Moments later, we get our first glimpse of this incredibly stupid Karen. And let's just say that the camera lens must have been made of diamonds because it managed to stay intact. Okay. Is there a rest I don't know. It's okay. We do have a restroom here. Yeah, yeah, she can use the restroom. Oh my god, You were the first one I saw to Before the officer discovers some vital information over the phone, Karen decides it's the perfect time for a pit stop. Uh, PBD came back point three one. Yeah. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. Yep, take a look for it. No worries. Can you just do a dual okay. With me real cool. Quick? Oh, I know. Yeah. So, okay, glad to know. Uh, yeah, for a uh, staff member. So, for a uh, uh, staff member. No, 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 no. She, she was coming here for work, so. Uh, yeah. The officer discovers that the portable test shows a BAC higher than a kite, so he opts for a blood test to see if the party's really that wild. Let's watch this plot twist unfold. Candace, I'm going to read you. I, I read it to you earlier, but I'm going to just read it to you again, just so mm -hmm. you understand, all right? So I, I have probable cause to believe that you have operated a vehicle while intoxicated. I must now offer you the opportunity to submit to a chemical test and inform you that your refusal to submit to a chemical test will result in the suspension of your driving privileges for one year. If you have at least one previous conviction for operating while intoxicated, your refusal to submit to a chemical test will result in the suspension for two years. So then, do you consider... I don't refuse. Okay, so um, the two chemical tests are either through blood or through breath, right? And the doctor has already taken your blood and has an alcohol content okay. that he could tell me about. And that's what I'm asking you if I have consent to learn about or know about that alcohol content. Um, what does that mean, though? That the doctor will tell me how much alcohol was in your blood at the time of the blood draw okay. tonight. So do you consent to him telling me that? I guess, yeah. Okay, yes or no? Can I so, so I'm going to tie it to this implied consent, okay? So the, the repercussions in here, um, you can either refuse and... Uh, I don't want to refuse. I okay. mean, I want to obey whatever... It's I'm not obeying. To. It's not about obeying or disobeying. It's about either consenting to it or not consenting to it. If right? I don't consent, then... If you don't consent, your license is going to be suspended for a year. No. And I'm going to file for a subpoena for your medical records. No. And I'm still going to do that. I'll consent. Okay. Yeah. 
So that's all on body cam. Yeah. Um, so then if you guys want to tell me what it is and we'll yeah. talk about that. Then... So as I told you, your alpha level is 416. Oh. That's what I told you earlier. Oh, I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. I didn't hear it. Okay. We told, I told you a couple times earlier, so that's mm. it's really elevated, okay? Okay. That's why we, that's why from us, we don't need to do any additional testing here. We're letting it happen tonight. Okay. 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 And we'll get out of here shortly. Okay. I need to take your IV out, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to let the nurse get you cleaned up. Words. And then. Am uh, I able to drive home? No. no, honey, you are drunk as a skunk on Christmas Day. We're going to get out of here shortly. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna figure it out. I'm gonna get all my stuff wrapped up, and then I'll come back here. If you need another clean set of clothes, see if the nurses can help you out. And get... uh, um, I mean, did you soil those? No. Are those soiled? No. Okay. Okay. So you said, Jesus, a four, a four and six? Four and six, yeah. Oh, my God. That I is the it. highest I've seen the whole time, sorry. Oh, my God. the highest I've ever seen. I've seen fours out there. Karen is drunk as a skunk on Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, Thanksgiving, and her birthday combined. And as you just heard, her blood alcohol content registers a jaw-dropping 0.416, which sounds like a Toronto, Ontario area code, but is actually more than five times the legal limit for driving. Seeing this, the officer figures it's high time Karen gets an all-expenses-paid trip to the local jailhouse. Okay, no worries. Are you able to get us out this door? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure I'm okay. so, we can walk out to the cellar. Yeah, yeah. Are you taking me to jail? Just if we're being peaceful about it, yeah. And then I'm gonna. Okay, we'll just. Right there. Have you turn off. Right. Um, whatever's. Do you want to take that off your wrist? Okay, that's fine. Just be a yeah, yeah. My okay, I don't need your driver's license. I just need your hands. Uh, Can I put this in your bag again? Yeah. When you're done? Oh my gosh. It's just me. Nobody needs to know. Alright. Alright. Put, okay. put your hands on your right. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna wait till she gets a, a pad. No, one second. We're gonna wait till she gets a pad. I'm gonna put a pad down and see. If you have good friends that want to call, you, you know, by all means, I can do that. I can't. Well, whatever. That's however you guys do it. Whatever. That's between you guys. I mean, 
my answer is gonna be you get to call it jail. So yeah. I mean, okay. I'm gonna get I'm gonna take care of all that. I'm gonna take care of all that. So I got it. Yep. I'm not trying to be rude. I don't come in and doubt when I'm in your space. I am extremely. I'm just used yeah. to doing that when I. I, 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 I got it. Okay. I'll pray for you. Bye. Be safe out there. Thank you. Alright, that's what you Thank you. I think I got paper off, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, you did. Thank you. Just sit back however you're comfortable. Yeah, no worries. Just sit back normal. Can you sit back normal with your hands the way they are? Or? They're, they, they're not the most comfy. I know. No. Um, I have no idea. I don't know what it is on the. You said you've never been in trouble for OWI before? No, I've never been in trouble at all. And the whole reason I'm going is because of my alcohol. Because you drove to work inebriated. Yeah, I'm um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know what you did. I don't, I don't know. Like, it was continuing to go up, so that's weird. But I I think it's call it whatever you want, but you're gonna have to take at some point in your life. You know, mine and yours interaction is gonna end tonight. It'll end here in about an hour. Um, but a point four one six on your way to work sounds like a, a drinking problem. I get it. I deal with people like that all the time. I mean, right, and I'm not. I don't to judge you. It is not. I don't judge you. Just mm. need to be judged. Yeah, I mean, to a certain extent, I'm going to see her and you, you know, if it is, you can recognize you got a problem, address it. And if you don't want to address it, and you know, continue to do these types of things, you know what? So I wonder if this is going to end my career now. I do not know. What's jail like? Is it, is it bad? Uh, it's not good. I've never heard a single good review about it. I'm not trying to be shitty. That is just the... Am I going to get hurt? I don't think you'll get hurt. The officer's already watched this film and, unlike Karen's colleague, chooses to quit tiptoeing like a cat on a hot tin roof. I'm going to guess that you are a chronic alcoholic. I'm going to guess that you drink to the point of being inebriated every day. Not only do you do that, which is fine, to each their own, but when you do that and you get behind the wheel of a vehicle and you're operating thousands of pounds of steel on public highways, you are 100 percent going to f somebody. Or myself. Yeah, and I have seen too many innocent people give up their lives because of decisions like that. So I, I don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to offer any sort of no, mercy you're or. No, my judge and jury. I get yeah. that. I, and I'm an intelligent person. I know better. If your blood alcohol content resembles a Toronto area code, you're likely out cold, unless you've been training for the Drunken Olympics for years. Still, Karen managed to snag herself a DUI and a hit and run charge. After her adventure, she took this, whatever the opposite of a glamour shot is, and enjoyed an overnight stay at the luxurious Laporte County Jail before coughing up $900 in cash to bail herself out and wait for her two misdemeanor charges to play out. I don't, 
and like, everything you in between. You can smell my breast right now. Okay, stop walking up it's on not, me. Hold on, I'm just trying to make you know, like, why are you so aggressive? Oh. On May 19, 2024, in the sunny state of Florida, a police officer was cruising along when he noticed a car zooming past like it was late for a date. Deciding this needed some investigating, he flipped on his lights and watched as the car decided to audition for a roller coaster ride. It zigged left, nearly giving a median an unwelcome hug, then zagged right like it suddenly remembered it had other plans. The officer had to channel his inner race car driver to dodge what could have been an unfortunate fender bender tango with the dumb Karen's vehicle. Despite the dazzling light show from the patrol car behind her, she kept going as if she were in her own action movie scene before finally deciding to pull over and give everyone involved a breather. Here's what happened next. Put it in park. Uh, I'm gonna park over there. Put it in park. Put it in park. Put it in park. Turn off the car. Turn off the car. No, now she turned it off. Give me the keys to the car. The keys to my car? 29, 28, coming back to free. Let me show license, registration, insurance. Hello. Registration, insurance. I guess it's a good one. You said you already gave it to him? Well, he didn't ask for it, but well. That's what she gave me, registration and insurance. Oh, her zipper's down. What is this? Registration and insurance. I don't know if you know. What is this? This is old. That's the new one. Okay, that's why I was having trouble finding it. No, that's the new one because we just got this car, so it's like, eh. We just put everything right. in the glove right. department. You gotta get back in your car for your safety. Okay, I don't want cars to hit you. Oh, okay. I can pull over to no, the No, no. Stay right there. Okay. Good evening. How are you doing today? Hello. How are you? Doing all right. Where are you coming from today? Uh, Renegades at Cheerleading event. Renegades? Okay. Did you eat I... anything there? No, I don't have nothing. No. Where are you heading today? Home. Home. Okay. Do you take any medications at all? Do you have any um, injuries at all? No? Okay. Can you come out real quick so I can talk with you? 1359, correct? And pack one. Alright, so we're going to get it back home. Right and then, where are you going? Oh, home, home. Where's home? Hold well, on, that's a minor. Yeah, you're just asking her if she lives local. That's all. We live right down the street. We're okay. very okay. Beach. okay, so where are you heading? We're very okay. beach. Okay, how much you have to drink today? I didn't drink nothing because I knew this was going to happen. Okay. So. so any reason to smell a strong note of alcohol coming from your breath and you have slurred Me? speech? Me? Yeah. I don't drink. No. Okay. Any reason I'm you have like slurred speech? I'm like in recovery. Okay. Any reason you have slurred speech? No. Any reason for your careless driving and swerving all over the road? I was speeding. never swerving. Never. None of that. Okay. Any reason your zipper is still undone on your pants? My zipper is done because I was in the bathroom. That's why. Okay. But. Can you, you know. stop laying on the car for me? So based off of everything I just told you, are you willing to participate in San Francisco Sobriety Test? I don't test? feel like I need to. Okay. Are you willing to participate in San Francisco Sobriety Test? If I have to, to, to go home, like, you know, whatever. Okay, so you're saying yes, you will? I mean, if I have to, to go home, then you can. It's not that you have to, you're volunteering. I'm not no, forcing you to do it. No, if I don't it. have to, I don't want to do it. So, while we're refusing to participate, I'm saying they're voluntary. Refusing to participate in San Francisco Sobriety Test. Can't be used against you in court. I have to base my arrest decision off of what I see, smell, hear, I don't, and like, everything you in between. You can smell my breast right now. Okay, stop walking up it's on not, me. Oh no, I'm just trying to make you know, like. So with everything I just said, do you understand what I just said? Um, a little bit, yeah. What part did you understand? Oh, why is it pulled over? I'm sure my part explained to you in great detail why he pulled no, over. No, if he pulled me over, I don't know. Okay. If that's who pulled me over, I don't know. So you're, you're below for swerving all over the road. 
I guess whatever you're the one that pulled me over. No, the car that's right behind. So Whose you don't. You did there? not realize that you were pulled over. Of course, I was realized I was pulled over because I'm pulled over. That doesn't make sense. What okay. you're asking. So regardless of all that, are you willing to participate in the status? If I have to, let's go. So man, man, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I'm gonna stand right here. Like, please I didn't tell you. don't guide me. Okay. Like, because I'm being you gotta respectful. Listen to me, you're not being respectful. Okay. How I'm not being respectful. So, are you willing to participate? It's a yes or no. It's not a if I have to or anything. Other if reason. I have to, then yes, let's go. I don't know about like okay. what's real and what's so, not real. I advise you that they are voluntary, so you do not have to do them. I am not. Well, if you I to don't do have them. to do it, then no, I don't want to do it because I'm a hundred percent clear. Okay. And you just said you understood that refusing to participate can be used against you in court. Don't get hit by a car. And I have to base That's my fine. arrest decision. That's fine. Off of what I see, smelling. One hundred percent fine. So you're still refusing to participate. I'm not refusing, but if I don't have to do it, I'm good. Like I wasn't okay. swerving okay. with no. Okay. If you wanna voluntarily participate in the Pittsburgh exercise, it's a yes or no. If you don't, we've explained to you that we're gonna have to base our decision to arrest you if you're not going to. Are you That's going fine. to participate? Yes or no? No. If I don't have to, okay. I don't want Please to. Okay. Why are you so oh, aggressive? Oh, oh. It's yeah, the car. There you go. Mr. Why are you guys so aggressive? I don't understand why you guys are so aggressive. I'm good. Carly, call daddy. Honey, it's okay. Listen, 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 listen. It's okay. Are you on the phone with your dad? Okay. Can you ask him to come here? We're on the, that's what we're doing now. Listen to me. Okay, where, where is daddy right now? You, you calm down, yeah, I got this. Can ask daddy if he, ask him if he can. Listen, ask him if he can get, take an Uber to come here. What is he saying? Okay, he's got the, okay, so here's the problem. Do, does, can I talk to him? What's his name? It's okay, honey. I'm going to explain everything to you. Mom is going to be okay, okay? I will explain everything to you, okay? Just calm down for me. Hello, sir? Hi. So here's the issue. If we don't have a family member come up here, then we're going to have to tow this car, and it's going to cost you guys a lot more money. Okay. So is that who, who is she to you? That's my wife. Okay, from our investigation, she is intoxicated and driving. Okay. She. Okay, I'm trying. Hold on, I'm on with the family. I'll be right there. She is intoxicated and driving. Hold on one second. All right, sir, I can't get into it right now, but can you. Do you have a family member or a friend that can come up here and get your car and your child? You're going to call who? It's okay, honey. I'm going to call her mother. We can get any closer than Bailey Bob Bob Pokey told me right here. So I'm going to call her or somebody to pick up. Okay, listen. We need them to come right away. And we are on, we are on Palm Beach Lakes. You might want to write this down. We're on Palm Beach Lakes. Ju basically Palm Beach Lakes and Congress Avenue. They will see our police lights here on the road. You can't get out of the car yet. So, and then I need you to call back and, and, and ask your daughter to get me because I need you to tell me who you're giving permission to to come get your car and your child. But it has to be done like right now. Like fast, okay. I'm gonna explain everything, okay? You're okay. Dad's having somebody come get you, all right? It's okay, but I need you to calm down. I'm gonna, I have to walk over here. Do not get out of the car because you're not safe in the road. I don't got no reason to lie. No, no. Uh, this is my first year in Chile. We're gonna make it as comfortable as possible. No, I'm just saying, oh, that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. That's tight, the whole thing is tight. This is my first year in Chile. We didn't get notes. Oh, you see this hand is tight. He's turning your wrist. You, you have to no, turn your wrist together like this, dear. Look at me. I've never been arrested, so okay. I don't know. So stop. We're going to explain it out to you. You've got to turn it. 
He's going to show you how to put your hands. Put your hands together like you're praying. Both palms together like this. Okay. There you go. And I can put a whole finger in there. But I didn't even do nothing. Okay. Okay, well, like we explained to you, okay, based on the, the intoxication signs that we're seeing, okay, we offered you the chance. Listen, we offered you the opportunity to, to perform field sobriety exercises. Okay. You don't want to perform those. We've ex but, listen. We've explained to you that you're refusing to perform those roadsides. Can I'm we not refusing. Against you? I'm just you trying refuse. to understand okay. what's going on. And we further explained to you multiple times that we're going to have to base our decision, all right, to arrest you or not arrest you based on the facts that we have and the science presented. Based on that, we placed you under arrest. Okay. But why am I under arrest? I didn't do nothing wrong. I you Okay, I'm trying. Hold on. No, no, no. Yeah. Okay, we, we, Hold on. Um, is this all you have in your, your, your pocket? Yeah, this okay, is I'm it. I'm going to take your phone. There's nothing else inside your pockets? No, nothing at all. I didn't do There's nothing wrong. Leave this in the car. We'll take your jewelry off and your stuff when we, when we get to the station. All right, okay? but we didn't do nothing wrong. Okay. Okay. Well, we're, we're going to give you a, a, an opportunity when we get to the station to, 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 to further in that, okay? okay. Gotta go you got to walk back here with this officer. You're going in the car, okay? Why am I going in the car? Because you've been placed under arrest, okay? Why? Wait, 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 wait. I'm just dear, trying to dear, understand listen. what's going on. Okay, but we're going to Hold on, I'm not trying to fight you. Wait, wait, okay. wait I'm arrest. not resisting. I'm just trying to okay. ask what's well, going on. You've you been placed under arrest, okay? Why am I under arrest? You're being charged with DUI currently, okay? DUI? So, yep. Why am I under okay. DUI? Now it's time to Why listen. Are you, like, no, okay. I'm not. I, I'm Start. just trying to get right. my stand. But you don't need to get a stand. We're going to the car. We've explained to you what you're under arrest for. Let's go. Cool. Wow. There you I go. I don't even know what's going on. Okay. Just dear, keep walking, please. We're going to well, make sure your child gets to the father. We're not going to leave her or anything like that. Just got to follow her. No, okay. you're literally pushing me then, out. What then I'm just doing. walk with us, okay? This yours? You can take these out because I don't know. Yeah, let's go right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll block track for you. Listen, do you have anything on your stuff? No, nothing at all. You said 15, right? I don't know about 15, no, but. No, no, okay. No, Don't mind no. me, I was asking my partner a question. No, I've never been in this situation. Okay. Where to go on the other side? I don't have nothing to hide. I don't have nothing to hide. Come on. Yes, ma'am. Can't loosen them up anymore. For our policy, I have to fit one finger between the cup and your wrist, and I could. Okay. Here, hold on, honey. Here, here you go. So let me explain something to you, okay? So I can't get into all the details with you, right? But what I can tell you is this: sometimes even adults make some bad choices, right? And this doesn't mean that she's go she's going to be away long, all right? She could, she could be back tomorrow. Like, she just needs to see the judge in the morning, and then she'll come back, okay? You don't need to, don't stress yourself out about this. And what I will do for you, okay, before you leave, or before mom leaves, I will, I will do my, okay, but are you having an asthma attack? Okay. If you're having an asthma attack, that's different. You need to tell me because I need to call the medics, right? But if you're just stressed out and you're, you can breathe okay, but you're stressed, that's different. Is this your dad? 
Okay. Can I talk to him? Hello? Okay. All right. Her sister. Um, her sister who? Okay. So, um, all right. Um, and is it okay if Marissa takes um, your daughter back home too? Yes. All right. How long before they're here? Okay, Dad. I'll let her go when she gets here. But can um, I'm gonna have her hang up now if you don't mind, because I gotta ask her some questions. Okay. What? Okay, you can. I'm not. I'm not making you. So, so what? I um. Today, mom picked you up. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. know what time you guys got to Renegades today? And then did you so were you did you guys right before you the officer stopped you you guys left Renegades and we're, we're driving straight this way right or did you make any stops after Renegades? Okay so Okay, and so, do you, I mean, I know you're, you're how old are you, 12? 11, so you're pretty good with time. So how many hours would you say that you guys were at Renegades for your cheer? Was it a cheer competition? Oh, for your cheer group, for your cheerleader, are you a cheerleader? Okay. So if you had to guess, how many hours would you say that you were at Renegades? Okay. Okay, you can go ahead and answer. I'm gonna, please stay in the car for your safety. If you need something, you can like wave your arm out or call for one of us. Okay, but stay. Let me see. Let, I'm gonna see what I can do. I'm not promising, but let me see what I can do. Okay, Marcel. So I can't get into all of it right now. Okay, but what we need is you to drive um, their car okay. and the the daughter, um, Carly. Carly. So I spoke to Car Carlington Bennett. That's her and husband. He, yeah, he gave you permission to take the car and the child back home. What about my sister? I can't get into it, but she's under the influence. Okay? That's, that's I know it. it. I know it's not an excuse. Tomorrow's her birthday. My brother who... I'm so sorry. They're both born on the same day, so it's tough times, right? Can I see her? No, because she is not happy, and she's. So we're just gonna. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. She's already gone, actually. Yeah. Where is she? She's With in the mom? The that car. She's in a car. She's so can I? Can I ask what exactly happened? I told you that she's she, under the influence, yeah, and that's yeah, all that we can say. Okay. Okay. She's she's in the car. She's in no. no she's in the back of the police car. She's, she's going to jail. Understand. No conditions. When I say like. I'm on. Like, yeah. I understand. It, it feels like, listen, somebody pick you up, okay, but no. This All right, is, so can is, we get her now? She's, she's, I can't, what? We can't just get her now? She can't just get her. You know, no, it's way past that point. Cannot. Get her away. She has her 12 year old daughter in the front seat while she's driving. You're talking about getting her to go home? Absolutely. You can get the child not. in the car. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Listen, I this is a. This, you gave me permission. I know this seems bad her going to jail for this right but i promise you what this is the better alternative than if we didn't stop her and she ran through that light and creamed somebody because she would be in jail for the rest of her life and she, which she almost hit me though yeah so she didn't hit nobody no no because but i had almost. to move out the way and honk and hope to get out in time I guess I see you. Huh? thank you I, I, she's getting targeted 
I suspect that Karen Zipper got spooked by the siren and made a valiant escape attempt, but alas, didn't get too far. And can you believe her sister and brother-in-law had the nerve to waltz in and ask if they could whisk her away after she put several people at risk, including her own kid? As the officer pointed out, this could have turned into an even bigger fiasco. Anyway, Karen was charged with DUI and neglect of a child without great bodily harm, and she should consider herself lucky that she was stopped. On July 3rd of 2024, in the town of Oak Park, Illinois, the police found themselves in a real-life episode of Caught on Camera. Tenants from an apartment building called them up with a peculiar complaint. A dumb Karen, who used to call the place home, had given their security camera an unwanted makeover. The plot twist? The camera captured her handiwork in all its glory. With this not-so-sneaky evidence in hand, the police had what they needed. But Karen's mom and some other bystanders decided to jump into the scene like it was a live reality show audition. Things got as tense as a soap opera cliffhanger. Here's how the situation played out. Hi, what's going on? So we have a resident here, her name is Ann Ganesh. Ganesh? Yes. Okay. What's She's it? a horrible person. Um, she left. She yeah. took off the bed. She knew you guys were coming. So what she did was she tried to destroy cameras in the laundry room. She tried to destroy a camera the other she day. She's in a car? She's in a black Lexus, yeah. Black Lexus? Yeah, we have her on video trying to destroy the camera. Okay. And then she threatened a president of our association. Okay. Her, her name is Lisa. Is she by herself? I think she's with her maybe her sister or something. I don't know, but she, she threatened her. Okay. She threatened to harm her. She told her, get the f out of here. She said, you stop it, Lita. And then she claims that she wasn't trying to do anything. So I saw her on video. She, she came in here and I told Lita about it. I'm like, she's going to try to destroy this camera again. So she gets the wheelchair. She tries to cover it with the sheet. She already destroyed the camera down the hallway. And then she claims that she wasn't doing anything. And she said, oh, no, no. I was just, I just wanted whatever bull she lies about. And then she started screaming at Lita. Oh, she turned this on so she could where's flood the, it. Where's the camera? Okay. Where's the camera over here? Did she damage the camera over here? Yeah, so it's in the smoke detector because she used to come in here and shut everybody's electricity off. So we had to put a camera in here in the smoke detector. Where's the other one that she damaged? Uh, that was down the hall. Was that today also? That was, yeah, the police came here yesterday for that, I believe. They make a report? I think they did, yeah. Okay. This was with a camera. Was she? We had her on video destroying this camera. Does she even live here anymore? Her parents live here. She moved her parents in. Ah, okay. But they're actually going to, they haven't, they owe, they just went to court and lost. They, they haven't paid their dues in, like, okay. they owe 20000 in dues. Or but she doesn't live here. Anne? Yeah. No, she lives where her parents used to live. They swap places. Yeah. And that's the camera she destroyed. Okay. We have it all on video of all her right. destroying the camera. Well, that's from yesterday, though. But I have the video today of her trying to screw okay. over this one, so... I don't know what you guys want to do with it. She did threaten her physically okay. and scream at her and was very aggressive and vi wasn't violent. She didn't, she didn't push her, but she was very... I mean, how would you... She right, can you tell me what happened? Yes. Um, we came downstairs because... I gotta leave, but I, I was a witness, okay? Right. One thing is she can get anybody here. It's not good. Absolutely. She needs to be away from you. You saw her here? Yes. She was screaming. She charged okay. at me and did the same thing, but she's... Mm -hmm. she's a, uh, right now, she, is, she assaulted and robbed me last year, so we're going to court for it. Oh, you're, uh, what's your name? Nick? I arrested her. You did? I found her. Oh, you were the guy that found her? Congrats. Okay, so I'm the guy she assaulted and robbed, Yeah. and she's going to court for her. Her husband, Tony, is still on the run. Yeah, I know. Because. That's why I was asking if her husband was with her. I haven't seen him in a little bit, ever since, but or I saw him maybe a couple times, and I called the police on him. Okay. Which, so, uh, go over to your state. She's going to be wanted for criminal damage and assault. With Karen playing a game of hide-and-seek, the officers decided to binge-watch the CCTV footage of her supposed camera sabotage. So here's her in there trying to cover it with the sheet while right before she's going to damage it. That's her. <laughs> See what she's doing here? And then she... This is before she actually went up on... So she's getting something to step on, which she put over there. And then she, uh, yeah. she puts it back, but then she comes back. It's all on video that she's, she's 
She comes back and then she finally damages it. The cops decide to skedaddle, planning to pick up their detective work another time. But lo and behold, just moments later, the incredibly stupid Karen, who they were investigating, appears out of nowhere. Right. Right here. That's her, that's her, yeah, that's her. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Hate it. No. Get over there. Hi, officer. Stop. Listen. Wait, wait, wait. Listen. Let me explain. Wait, wait, wait. Let me talk. 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 Okay. Uh, 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 
filed a lawsuit. Mama, she filed a lawsuit, and this is retaliation. And truth of the matter, yeah, just never checked out. If there's something, if you all need to make an ID right now, let's do that. I'll be having Nora. So it has to be on your way. Are you coming from? I was here. No one's got assaulted. They harassed her because she. I take care of my grandparents. Okay. And I have went in, so I can log in, whatever the case may be. And she said, oh, the thing up in the laundry area, so I was watching, right. it came down for the camera. Mm -hmm. So, or so whatever it up in there, I don't know what the thing is. And she said, I get steps. She came in, grabbed my grandparents, steps to if they have any kind of pain, came back out, or go bring back in and push it up, or whatever the case may be. Okay. And she came, uh, the one lady came out. The heavy set with the short hair came out. Right, what are you so doing? So what are you doing with the camera, like in her face? Okay. And she's like, "What do you mean?" What in in whose about? face? I'm sorry. To end. Okay. And she said, "What are you talking about? The camera came down, so I went to put it up, and then that Nick guy or whoever he, he came out. He was in the hallway standing while they two were having an interaction. Um, the uh, I don't know that her name. Is her name Anna, whoever. And they had an interaction, and then she was saying, I was fixing it. What did you do to the camera? No, you did something. She said, no, I fixed it like I did with your washing machine that you okay. all had that was broken. Okay. I didn't do anything. And they said, oh, you're on camera. It's in the cloud. This and that, da, da, da. And then they start all just attacking her pretty much and harassing her about it. And she it's said, I've done nothing but fix the camera. Can you come on over to the police car? Yes. Well, one at a time. You can stay okay. And that's how it happened. And Nick threatened. I'm going to call 911. I'm calling the police right now. I'm calling the police. And Ann said, well, call them because I'm going to call them as well. You're harassing me. You're calling me things. You're saying things to me. And you're being racist and da da da, whatever. That was their interaction mainly. And we end up going out the door. And said, you know what? I'm leaving. Whatever. I'm going to go to the police place or I'm going to contact the police my own self. So she left out. And then that was the end of this whole situation. Okay. Can I speak to the commander? Commander, she's not here right now. I just want to speak to the commander. Maybe that's the witness. I need you to roll down the window. And say, I'm suing you. You're mad because you have a lawsuit, and I'm suing you basically, and you received the lawsuit. And that's what it was. No threat. No threat. It was no nothing. She just kind of escalated between them, and then, like I said, Nick came as a secondary where they were basically just coming for her. Can you see here? What? Roll out. Can you roll down more? Can I, can I speak to the commander? Look up. Can I speak to the commander? It is? Five and George, five and George. Lita, I was fixing the camera. Okay, you can roll that window up. I was fixing the cameras, Lita. I'm suing her. That's why she's doing this. I'm suing her. I'm suing her. That's why she's doing this. Why don't you come on over here, sir, and walk on over there with the officer? I know you know her, but it's just a technicality. Go with that officer, the blue. All right. So, and who? What's uh, Annette's relationship to you? Uh, that's my aunt. Your aunt? Okay. Yeah. So the ambulance is here. You want your? We want the ambulance. My my daughter. Mom. Mom. Yeah, we have she says she has the bad heart. heart. Mom, of course. Mm -hmm. Just sit tight, worry, right where you're at. Hey, Dory! Dory, come here! Yes. Is mommy okay? She's fine. She's fine. She's fine. Oh my god, I will never help this building again. Net, 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 net. How are you guys doing? So we get uh, an elderly, we're in the middle of a criminal investigation, but uh, the lady who's not involved in the criminal part is uh, here, and she says apparently she thinks she's having a stroke. Okay. So she so asked she us, okay. she asked us to call you guys, and I'm not really sure what the situation is. She's fine. Just, you calm down, she'll calm down. Just calm down. But I'm calm. Yeah. They trying to set me up for something. Yeah. Okay, okay. Let, let them check out my... Hey, can you go over there just like a quick look? We're going to roll down the window again. Yeah, open the door so he can identify me because he's white. You racist.
racist. You are racist. You set me up and you have damaged me and you hit me. You hit me. Hey, what's up? Today, Russ? What's going on? So there was a lady, she's got kind of a history of interactions with this building. Apparently she was accused of assaulting somebody who lives oh, in the building. Okay. She got into a vehicle, this vehicle, the offender. And this is the offender's mother. The offender's in the car here. And this is the offender's mom. As I understand it, I'm a little late to the party. I, uh, I'm not really sure if, if mom was arguing with anybody. Mom! You guys need to let me identify him as the guy that attacked me. This guy attacked me and this officer here. Please do not, please. Please do not, hello. Please do not leave me. Officer Barella. Officer Barrientos. Barrientos. Please do not. Do not what? Please do not sit here and racially profile me. I was helping in my building where I live. Yes. Do you need me to get any information from anybody in this car? One lady. You got the that, plate number that no. she was in? She exited? I was not in the car. Said, I was walking. Said said that none of this happened, that she was there trying to fix the camera. Can you give me the license plate? I can do both. I can do the incident anyway. For sure. Because right. we already, I, we already all, signed the complaint. We have all the information. All right. We but were just going to do it. Officer! Yeah. This officer yes, always tries to arrest me and be racist against me. He has a problem with that guy right. up there. Okay. Yeah, you guys do what you got to do. I'll just. I got you in the What's that? I got you in the Okay. All right. What custody? You're in my custody. No, he needs to be out of the car. You need anything? Yeah, Why would you put me in the car with an officer that has been right arrested? Right now? Uh, I don't have any. It's the lady. The lady's the president. Ma'am, this is the, president. Ma I just, this is the first oh, time oh, I oh, met oh, you, oh, ma'am. Not you. All right. Criminal damage? Ma'am, I yeah, was the one that took the car off. Criminal damage? Okay, ma'am. We will talk in the station. No, I fixed the camera. And then I think Okay, we then you will have your side of the story. Ma'am, you will have your side You will have your side of the story. That's fine, then. And the report says document for Take my necklace off and give it to my family. I'm just going to do that. And what did you do today? One of your handcuffs is off. One of my handcuffs is down here, too, y'all. They're not off. Ouch! Please don't touch me. Please don't touch me. You are a racist police officer. Please don't touch me. No, my handcuffs came off. I didn't take them off. Here, Yes, yeah, please take my phone off here to my phone. Alicia, let me get this thing. Right here, right here. I'm not doing nothing. Did they ask you of what was going on? No. They didn't ask you as a witness, and you were standing right there with me? No, I just talked to the other gentleman. He finally asked that was after the call. Is this one? Is this one? Is this one? Look, look what you're doing to my finger. Take it. I'll loosen it. Turn over. Put your hand behind it.
the jets, you're gonna be released now. But I didn't do anything wrong. Ain't nothing to have. They have. It has to be an order. So part of the order for right now, just be quiet so you can we can get you down there and get you pick Why you up. Why you give me my neck? Thank you for coming. Nick, please, please, just, 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 just stop talking for a second. Stop talking. Please just stop talking. We gotta just, wait for the just stop talking. I can't back up either. Take a picture. Let's take a picture of you. Yeah, Nick, Nick, Nick. He has always been a racist. Nick, 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 Nick. Okay, we got this. All right, man, we gotta go. Okay. You work for Nick. Can we get somebody else to ride with me? Okay. All right, man, let's step out of the street. Yes, ma'am. I will be. I will take. I will take charge of the case okay ma'am yes, i just met you ma'am i this is the first time i met you i don't know i don't know i i i, 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 I never met you and this officer is a racist and he's always trying to look out for nick nick is not standing in the middle of the, of the parking lot she doesn't he's not on the board he has nothing to do with any cameras and he's not nobody's witness he's not supposed to have access to those cameras Okay. And this officer always agrees with Nick. He's on the tape. He's always agreeing with Nick. All of this drama that you guys for me helping out in my building where I live. It's a ticket. You guys always lying. There, there is no bond. You're going to get out after your process. You are. I'm not, for what? You're going to be charged with criminal damage and assault. Sir, I did not criminally that, damage anything. That, that will be for a judge. That will be for a judge to make the final decision. Sir, I did not criminally damage anything. Okay. I fixed the camera that was hanging down. Okay. Why would you even touch it? it makes no because sense. Because I live there and it's our building and the president said that the cameras All were... Right. Bless broken. You. All right. So I was All fixing right. broken cameras. Right, you were, okay, whatever. What are you okay. talking about? All Why right. did I touch anything? I touch everything Listen, in our building. Listen, let's not talk about it because you're under arrest. We can't talk about it. So. No, I'm not nervous. I'm telling you the truth. No, I'm telling you, we can't talk about it because you're under arrest. If you want to talk to me, that's fine. You're arresting me? You are under arrest. You're in custody. For what? Crim criminal damage and assault. Who did I hit? No, not a hit, not battery, an assault. I didn't, okay, you guys are trying to make my case. No, I'm not no, making any case. Yes, I was not there. You're trying to make a case. Okay. I did not cause criminal All damage. right. The karma was broken. Okay. And I was pushing it back up. It was hanging down. Okay. So am I in trouble for fixing the seat? That, if that's your defense, Annette, you can tell that to the judge. Sir. Annette, I'm not... What judge? When you go see a judge, you're going to get a court date. Oh, my God. You are so... Let me call my lawyer. When you, you get yes, when you when you get to the station, you will be allowed to call your attorney. Sir, why are you arresting me for something I didn't do? And you didn't listen to my witness. Your witness. There is, was someone standing right yeah, there with me. That's your sister. Oh, helping me. That's your family. Excuse you. That is my mother's nurse. Okay. Oh. That is my mother's nurse. You always work for Craig Randall and Nick. All oh, Travis called Craig Randall. You are a crooked cop, and I'm pressing charges against you. Okay. You are a crooked, lying, two-faced cop, and you're wrong. Okay. This cop on the other hand is nice. You are a crooked cop on the tape. Okay. And then you guys bring all these cops. I came back there to find out what you guys was coming for. She told me, he told me he was calling the cops. I was coming back there. That's fine. Because I did nothing. Okay. You are so horrible. You are a very, very horrible cop. I swear to God, I'm talking to your commander about you. You are a very horrible cop. I bet uh, you told everybody I, to talk. I will, I will. Why let... are you riding with me? You just want to be in charge of making sure you cut charges. Then you put these cuffs on your wrong, and then it comes, it came off, and then you cut my other wrist off. Okay, ma'am. You all have an opportunity to talk to the watch commander and file any complaints. And last time you arrested me, you didn't read me my Miranda rights just like now. Okay, well, I'm not trying to interview you right now. I don't have to read you the Miranda rights. Yes, right? you do. When you arrested me last time, you the same time. Okay, well, we're not talking about the previous incident. We're talking about this incident. And I'm talking about the last time. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm not. You're a liar. I'm you're not. Always okay. a liar. All right. You're always on the stage. And you're always working for Craig Randall and Nick. And then you can smile at this officer because they don't know you because you are a crooked cop. 
you always was and you always will be. I've never been arrested for anything in my life. And since I've met you, I've been arrested twice. Because you insist on, instead of hearing both sides of the story, you can't take anybody's word. You guys never heard my side of the story. And you even asked me what happened. No. What? Wait, wait till we get in the station, we'll talk about it. When we get to the station, ma'am, we'll interview you, okay? Yeah. Just uh, the meantime. Why did you guys lie and say it's a ticket? It, it, it is. is. It's a sign and release. It's a sign and release, ma'am. It's going to be released. So. No, no. I'm yes. going to be arrested for something I didn't do. Okay. Then you will go to court and explain your side of the story to the judge. No, he and, knows I got to go to court in August. He knows that because he's the one that had me arrested. So okay. he's trying to bring up another case so that you guys can put me in jail. He knows because he's the arresting officer for something I didn't do. I'm supposed to attack me every time. A person that's not even on the board. I'm on the board at that building. I'm the treasurer at that building. I have every right to fix anything that's broken at that building. They're bringing him over here to identify somebody. How about I identify him? Where is Officer Michael Murphy? Uh, he, he retired. He left. Yeah, I need Michael Murphy. Every single time that boy attacked me, Michael Michael Murphy came over. I'm having him come to court and testify against you. Every time you came out, you all it. you did is arrest yeah. me. I'll take her. You oh, never no. did anything to me. Yeah, you hit both. me in my stomach. Oh, let me open. And you arrested me. Why are you letting me take the room if you're the arresting officer? Uh, because we both arrested you together, man. I'm driving, but we're to we're both we're, we're both talking. You always won't be a part of anything that's concerning me. Every five hundred cops out there. We we were no. He we got dispatched racist. together, man. He's a racist. That's how you feel, man. And you can make your complaints. Don't leave me alone with you. You could. I'm not gonna leave you alone, but it's the, the, for your best interest, it's better for you to just be quiet and do not do not talk. That's uh, my my okay. So yes, all right. Alright, hold on, 23 on the burglar alarm. Once we get inside, I'm going to take your pops off. Yeah, because they're done. This one right here? Yeah, once Wait. we get inside. Okay, when I move a certain way, it's cutting off my circulation on my wrist. On this side. Okay? I can't take Please do here. not leave me alone with him. Here he is. What we need from Annette is just to <laughs> just ain't gonna calm down, but you know it ain't her fault why she ain't calm down. I know, I know. You know I, I do know how it is, especially with Annette. She has trouble kind of bringing down her emotions. But she cannot argue or yell her way out of this situation. You know what I'm saying, Rico? After that fiasco, Karen's mom should have been arrested for obstruction and horrible acting. Furthermore, it was her dumb Karen daughter who had the adverse reaction because it seems as though she's allergic to accountability. Nevertheless, Karen was charged with criminal damage to property and assault. And we'll but due to, to my attorney, can. my attorney, I am due to know what's his name. You and will I know. have a good attorney, so okay, please, cool. what is his name? Have a seat. Call my dad, Kyle. Call my dad. Don't make me fucking get out and beat your fucking ass. On June 28, 2024, a police officer answered a dispatch call about a vehicle parked awkwardly on an off ramp. Consequently, this dumb Karen gets pulled over for her wild driving and suspected DUI. During the encounter, she turns up the drama, refusing to comply with the officer's instructions while insisting on chatting with her dad and a lawyer. Seriously, does anyone know where I could snag a copy of the Karen playbook that every single Karen seems to follow? Of course, the Karen playbook must omit the outcomes of Karen behavior because every situation tends to end up like this. Call out. Call the tag. Let me just check on them real quick. Three, four, four, three, two, Delta. Hi, can you roll the window down for me? Where are you? The cops are talking to me. 
Oh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Kyle Patton out of Lake Worth. Bobby, talk. Okay, no, are you okay? Yeah. You just stopped in the middle of the oh, road. I know. Thank you. I'm sorry. Do you have any medical emergency or anything? Robbie. I'm talking to you, ma'am. Are you happy? Hey, how's it going, sir? I'm talking to her. Is she all right? I think she's okay. Okay. Does she have any medical emergency? Not to my knowledge. Okay. May I ask you a driver's license so I can know who I'm talking to? You don't have... You can stay in the car. You can stay in the car. You don't have to get out. Sorry, what was that, sir? I'm just talking to her. You might hang it up so I can talk to you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Do you have a driver's license so I can yeah. know who I'm talking to? What's your name? Learned. I. What is, what's your name? I'm sorry. Okay. Good time. 911. <laughs> Can you uh, get my raincoat in my, in the back of my car? Yeah. Put their flashes out. Okay. <laughs> what's your name, ma'am? Huh? What's Thank your you name? Know. Hey, can you find out what the tie come I back to? Right. No, it's not. I'm her husband. I like worthy. Okay. What's your name, man? I wasn't supposed to be driving. I'm so sorry. What do you mean? Have you been drinking? <laughs> no, it's not. Well, one, one. Then what, why, seven, one. why do you say that? Is that the wrong one? Yeah. Why do you say you're not supposed to be driving? I only came to get something from my phone. What's your name? You still haven't told me who you are. I'm sorry, it's kind of weird. That's why I don't want you to get out because it's kind of raining over here. You can stay in the car, that's why. But right now, what's your name? So I... No, no, what's your name? Before you say anything Lauren, else, what's your name? Lauren, Lauren. Lauren. Lauren, what's your last name? Huh? What's your last name? I only get it. Right? You're not making sense. You're trying to say something, but you're not making sense. You say you're not supposed to be driving. I don't know why. It's a... This is in my vehicle. Okay. Which vehicle is it? Your husband? My boyfriend? Okay. So, why don't you have a license? Is that a license? Is there a reason that you stop in the middle of the road? I used to stop in the middle of the road because he never told me that he had no insurance and nothing on his car. That makes no sense. I'm looking at your eyes, I can tell you how That's why right. my eyes are blue, my eyes are bright blue. They'll always be dilated and no one will die. Okay. Everything is in my eyes. No, I don't, I don't do, I'm in, I'm in freedom. You have a high thing to do. You have a high thing to do. You have a high thing to do. You just stay there for a little bit. Yeah, I'm in freedom. Okay. What's in the cup? It's in Celsius and water. Okay, you can put it back. Okay, Lauren. Wait, I'm not I'm sober, please. Okay. Do you have any, any ID or card or credit card that have your name on there? So I can verify who you are? Have a What's your social security? Can you write that down for me? What, what's your social? What's your social? You are who you are? Huh? You're not, you just sent me your Lauren, but I gotta, I gotta get a picture of figure out if, if who you are. So that's why I'm asking for your social, so I can go check check to see who you are. You don't know it? Okay. Do you have like a debit card that have your name or credit card that have your name on there? So you're not telling me your full name. 
Okay. Because, but it's your boyfriend's car. Yes. Is it stolen? No. Okay, then why are you not allowed to drive it? My, okay, my concern is that you, you are under the influence of something. Okay? So. I don't do so okay, well, listen, that's for me to decide because right now you're not you're not giving me much confidence that you're not under the influence. So, um, spell, spell your last name for me. I have a sick. No, my whole. What? I gotta run your name to see who you are. SP what? What is it? Why did that guy left? Can somebody call this guy again? So I don't know why he took off. I thought he was running, but what? Robbie. 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 Hi, it's Jackie. Jackie. I would like to speak to somebody. Go my dad. Please go my dad. <laughs> okay. Hey. I need a moment. Collect yourself. Now. Hey, do you have a girl pad on you? Okay. I'm still Lauren. trying to figure out who she is. Anybody give me her full, her full name? Hi, my name is Jacqueline, and I would like to, are you an officer? Yes? yes I am. Okay, correct. Great. My name is Jacqueline. Her name is Lauren. Okay. I would like, uh, again, I do not know what's going on. All I know is that she is in a mental state of distress, and she was trying to come here. She is in an abusive situation, and I am trying to get her out. Okay. I do not know how abuse affects people in different ways okay. so what i am trying to do is get her to a safe place okay. and i know that you as an authoritative figure would only want the same okay. correct oh, not, if you got not not at all we would never want that well, i am more than welcome to come get her i was part you stop in the middle of the road, but I where right now we are I in the middle parked, of the road. Though. I was parked. In the middle of a road. You understand that? You're not in a parking lot or you're in the middle of the road blocking traffic. Okay, so I think the biggest thing is that somebody is not only maybe maybe she appears to be impaired, I don't know what has happened, but I think also you need to consider the fact that like somebody could be in mental distress and at this state of like the world that we're living in. People are mentally ill, and they are not getting the help that they need. Okay. That is the point, okay. and I am going to leave it at that. Okay. Now, well, what I would like to do, right moving now. forward, her name is Lauren Spain. You can figure it out. I will call her father. Her father will get things done. Okay. Now, I need do. her to have full access to her phone to be able to send me the contact of her father. Do you understand? Yes or no? You do what you got to do, ma'am. Right now, I need to talk to her, okay? I need I need her father's okay. phone number, and I need her to be able to send me her father's phone number, or else nothing. Can I'm not going to have my friend in a okay. unhealthy a environment can you step out of the car, please? No, I where there's everywhere. So you don't want to step out? Okay, here's, here's what we got going on, okay? Ma'am, Miss Lauren. Is what we got on. right now. You give me a plenty indication. I'm looking at your eyeballs right now. It's, uh, okay. I'm so, I'm the way you were speaking, the way you were driving. Well, okay. Not, I wanna, I wanna give you the opportunity to prove to me that you're not impaired yes, by doing some pro sobriety exercise. Do you wanna do some pro sobriety? No, body? absolutely. Listen. Do you wanna right? do that? Yes or no? No, do you want I, to do sir, I have a, sir, I have a, I have a, a lawyer. I, there's no okay. way that I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. If you don't, it's your choice, okay? But that's, you but that's absolutely, I have, I have no, that's rude. How, how is that rude? You, I'm telling you what do, I have, do, what I'm investigating. It. So if, if, if you, you refuse know. to answer, I'm just going to take it as a no. And I'm going to make my decision whether or not to arrest you for DUI based on everything arrest, that I have. Arrest me and that for can DUI? What's no, I was at my phone, my... Keys were out of the car. Okay, sure. Car, were they not? Whatever you said. Were, were my so, were my keys out of that, the vehicle? With, I'm not gonna argue with you. Okay? Sir, were my with, keys out of the vehicle? With that being said, is it, would you like to do the my keys out of the vehicle, again? please? I'm please, not gonna sir. argue with you. Would you like to do the social exercise? Sir, were my keys it's out of yes the vehicle? It's a yes or no. It's a sir, yes or no. It's a would you like to do the first Sir, please, side? I'm really telling you, that you're messing with the I'm not going to argue with you. Where are my keys out of the vehicle? Okay, I'm not going to argue Where with you. Where are my keys out of the vehicle? If you please, I'm really, I'm really... 
Please do I'm not. I'm giving do you this. plenty of time. Please, I'm really If you refuse to answer, I'm just gonna take it as a no because you refuse to answer by saying, "Well, your key out of the car." Okay? I pull up. Your car was turned on. You were on the phone, my, and my you stopped in the middle of a roadway. I'm not a service. So she's not talking to you. I am. Where are my keys out of the vehicle? That's beside the point. Where are my right? keys out of the vehicle? You're in the middle of the road. The so, car is on. I'm, I'm not going to argue I'm with really you. Asking, and I'm going to ask you for the last time, okay? Please don't make Would me do Would you like this. to do the first sobriety exercise so we can dispel my suspicion this. that you are impaired? You're driving impaired. Is that a yes or no? Sir, please don't make me do that. Is that a yes or no? Sir, Is that a yes or no? Do this, please. Okay. Please do not make me do this, please. For the last time, is that a less? Is that a Sir, yes or no? Again, I'm gonna make my decision to arrest you for DUI based on everything that I have. Based that on what? Based on what? Where am I? Where am I? Tell you, I, told, no. I would explain to you everything from the beginning. Would you like to defer to my exercise? Yes or no? Sorry. Okay. Step out of the car. You are under arrest. Step out of the car. Stand behind your back. Thank you. Okay. So you need a very Thank you. Step back this way, please. She's a not that. You, I have blue. I have bright blue eyeballs yeah. in there. They're known to be okay. dilated. Okay. And Let's go. Okay. Can I just say something? You can talk okay. and walk at the same time. Okay, no problem. Perfectly. Let's keep walking. Let's keep right. walking. Keep walking. Right here is fine. Thank you. Do you have anything on you before I no, search you? No, ma'am. Nothing on you? No, ma okay. I'll give you nothing but a... No. Lady, face your car. I'll stop. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you again. Face the car and stop. <laughs> Spread your feet for me. Spread your feet. I'm gonna tell you one more time. Spread your feet. I asked, I asked what's his name? What's oh. his name? That's not what I said. I don't, you Come don't on. have to be, you, I didn't. Then stop pulling away. We're in the middle of the road, and you have to go to where traffic is, right? We don't want you to get hit, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Now please, just have a seat. Have a seat, Lauren. Here we go. But first, let's go. Please, what's his name? No, from my watch for credit. Go get him. Have I am. Have a seat, this. Lauren. I'm so sorry. I understand. Have a yes, seat. thank now, you. And we'll but talk due to, you to my attorney, you my attorney, I am due to know what's his name. You will and I have know. a good attorney, so okay, please, cool. what is his name? Have a seat. No, it's have not. No, that's not Sit what. Sit down. Put your feet in. Put your feet in. You re, are you being put recorded? Everything's being recorded. Put your feet okay. in the car. But move. Excuse me. So, that's, this is me being nice. Do you need any phone number from anybody? I don't know where your phone is in the car. Do you need any phone number from your phone? Please call my father. I'm not gonna call anybody. You're gonna have a chance oh, no, to call I know, someone. I know my dad. You're gonna I have a chance dad. to call somebody, but do you can, know the number by heart? No, can I get my phone? Huh? Can I get my phone? I wanna sure, call I'll my take dad. Your phone. Yeah. Where is it? Is it in your purse? Um, it, wherever it is, my, wherever my father is, please. Where's your phone inside the car? Just wherever my daddy is, please. <laughs> this is your cell phone and your card and your. Yeah, ID. call my father, please. Okay. Well, well, My father, you please. Father but it, it's okay. Call him. Hey, it's okay. Once he knows, he knows. I don't know, I don't know your. your yeah, one three seven nine nine. I have nothing to hide. Please call my call. Say, Daddy. Thank you. He messed the wrong. Answer. Please call him, Daddy. Okay, I'll, yeah. I'll look it up for Thanks, you. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. You can't.
can tell them that you've been in Russia. You I can a, tell them what I do, what I can tell them. Thank you so much. I'm not gonna let Thank you. you. I don't lie. I don't lie. Anything about okay, my father. Okay, okay. I I'm, know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you tell them that you're gonna go to the Palm Beach. I'm gonna jail. tell them that I f fucked up. But thank you. Please. Daddy, yeah, my f dad. Yeah, my dad. One? No, three five two. That's on this number. Call my father. This one. Call my father and my attorney. You can call your. You can call your. You can talk to your dad now. Yeah, my daddy is my. What the eight uh, on the do Christine? The on stop. It's on voicemail. Then call my attorney. I'm not calling your attorney. You are? No. Why? You when he call. comes here, he's gonna he's gonna summon you. Okay. You can call your own your own attorney. Please okay. call, please. You call your, do you know your number? You're your really attorney? making, you're really making. You no, I don't, no, I don't. I don't even know my okay. own number from my father. You're going to go to the Palm Beach County oh, Jail. Please call my mom, please call my mom. No, I can't, number. you know it's illegal. They can't do that. You know that, right? I told you what I'm no, do. they can't, they can't give you, you. So you're telling you me how to do my job? <laughs> I told they you when I get there, you? I'll look to the phone for you and I'll and They cannot tell you what the. Who else you need to call? My attorney. I'm not calling your attorney. That's your job. You then call my father. I just did. If you don't, voicemail. call my mother. If you lie, if okay. What's the name of the mom in there? Stacy. Mom. Mama. Who's that? Kyle. Know. Answer. Answer the phone. That's my boyfriend. Answer the phone so he can call my father. Kyle. Kyle. Call my dad. <laughs> Kyle, I'm arrested. Call my father. You're call my father. Call my fucking dad. Tell me, Kyle, it's not. Call my attorney now. Is that the? Is that the? Kyle, it's not funny. You, call my. Are you the owner for the car? Yeah. What okay. She's been arrested for DUI. She's gonna go to the Palm Beach County Jail. Your car is being towed to Beck Store. It's on Bolton Beach. Okay. Call my father. I'm sorry? Did she get over Ah, uh, she just stopped her car in the middle of the road, luck in traffic and, and drunk and high, so. No, nobody's drunk drunk and high? Okay. Drunk and high, you just lied! Let me, let me, uh, you just lied! Let me close you just lied! Call my dad, Kyle! Call my fing dad! Unfortunately, what you don't understand is that I don't give a f why you why you are so rude to me shut up you have no f no f anything towards anybody and you want to know what i know because i i literally sub f this i literally support everything in the fucking you realize you're really fucking up right I didn't even do it to you. Okay. Ah, uh, you're so f***ed up, bro. Okay. You know what? I'd, I'll take that sh** like a f***ing win. No problem. You know what? <laughs> you're really, really, really f***ing with the wrong person. And I feel bad for you. What's your name? Officer Alexis. From where? This is the Boynton Beach PD. No, I said from where? Where from are you Boynton from? Beach. You're from Boynton Beach? You gonna answer my phone? No. Answer it. It's probably one of my friends asking why the f I've gotten arrested. Answer it. No. Answer it. If it's my father, it's illegal that you didn't fucking answer it, so just so you know. It's an illegal, it's an illegal fucking action that you didn't answer my father. So, just so you know, you just got a full of from my attorney. So, I suggest you answer my phone. No, my license is invalid. You're an man. You know what? I don't even feel bad. Because I think everything you do is just so f 
mean. <laughs> you, the people that you should be looking after. Holy f But this is what you do. Don't even, f don't even, so shut the f up. I don't give a f Have a good day. You're right. You deserve, I deserve to sit like this. So, f you, f everything, f off. You're a piece of shit. You're literally a piece of shit. To everybody, and just so you know, when people knew who you were, when you were f like sitting in whatever the f you did. I'm sure you went to Jupiter High School, wherever the f you went to. Dwyer High School, everything. F you. You're an asshole. Piece of shit. You take this so seriously. You forget the what the f the whole entire point. <laughs> The whole entire point of being a fucking officer, anything is, because you're such a piece of shit. Get me out of here now. Now, put me in there now. Now, turn. I know where you have to go. Turn. If you don't, I'm literally gonna fucking gonna annihilate you in a place of court. So turn, and I want to leave, now. Okay, let me in, turn. Thanks, just so you know, not everything that you do is legal. So you should fucking realize what it's like to be a cop. Not always fucking legal. Shut up. Don't even ever talk to me like that. I'm sorry, what'd you say to me? You know how many people have fucking saved your sh For you being a fucking piece of sh For you being an asshole? How many people have saved your f you. So yeah, get me the f out of this car. You. Everybody tries to f go f yourself. Get me out of here now. If you touch me times one, my attorney already has f literal privilege to your whole entire everything that you view. So don't put one fucking finger on me, and I can guarantee that times ten. So tell that to your boys. All right, what are we doing here? Get me off this. Are you done? Are you done? Unfortunately, you don't know me. I'll wait and wait and wait and wait. Every day. Where are we? Where are we? Does my dad know where we are? I'm just letting you know, if my father has no idea where we are, you're going to have a major problem. Where are we? Where are we? I asked that to you. Where the f*** are we? Get the f*** out of here. You're such a f*** asshole. Piece of s***. Where are we? Don't make me f***ing get out and beat your f***. Okay. Just so you know, I have a camera on me. So, if anybody touches me, no offense, I've already asked for to be literally distributed, but I can't because you won't take me anywhere. Thank you. You better sip your drink. Good luck. Because my dad loves me the you're an asshole. You're literally a piece of shit and I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait till my fucking father get the here. If you give me one, if you touch one hair on my body also, 
my dad will also know. So don't ever touch me. I know it really infuriates you. And I've been super f***ing nice to you. Because I didn't even want this. I didn't even want this. going on to a military base, can you please call my dad? My dad has clearance and into the whole thing. Please call him before you cause a problem. My father has clearance into all military bases. Please call him before you really have a problem, please. My father has to know what, what attorney to call. Please don't do this. Okay, I didn't do it. Whatever you think I did, I didn't do what you... Do not put me into this jail. You're really making the wrong decision, sir. I ask you, please... Dumb care number two on the line is completely irrelevant to this mess so I'm baffled as to why the cops bothered chatting with her. Meanwhile, dumb care number one managed to rack up quite a list of achievements. She scored a DUI hat trick in under a decade because this was her third DUI in the last 10 years. Dumb care number one also refused the breath test, so she was charged with a refusal. Furthermore, her driver's license was revoked, so she was charged with driving with a revoked or suspended license. And lastly, Dumb Karen number one picked up a charge for resisting arrest without violence. Although the evidence is stacked against her, Dumb Karen number one pleaded not guilty across the board, and the courtroom drama continues as we speak.